Artist Marty Wilson has made a name for himself with his brilliant paintings of fish and other wonders from the Gulf of Mexico. He is now using a centuries-old Japanese technique to turn an actual fish into a piece of art. We take you to his Gulfport studio for a look at his creations on tonight's page 13. Artist Marty Wilson is dabbing color onto a huge painting of a fish. This is a Japanese technique called giataku, or fish printing. People bring in an actual fish that they caught. Then Marty gets to work. I take them, dry them off, paint them, and then I roll them on the canvas and then detail them out, and it captures the exact length and the girth of the fish. The finished product is a colorful and precise replica of a fish. Back in the 17th century, Japanese artists used black ink. Marty prefers vibrant paint. My twist on it is full color on canvas, and then you're getting exactly what that fish looks like when it first comes out the water. Wilson calls this an artful approach to the old mounted fish on a wall. I guess you've figured out by now. Giyotaku requires some pretty heavy lifting, especially when it's a 111 pound wahoo like this one. It takes four people. So it took four of us to print this fish. Once they're painted, then you gotta, the trick is flipping him over and then positioning and then putting him down on the canvas and, and doing the fish press. So it's, it's a wrestling match. <laughs> it, 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 but you always win. We always win. And then we eat him. So there's the beauty of these because you get your fish mount and you get to eat it. <laughs> How much better can it get than that? <laughs> Marty has started adding a realistic aquatic environment to the Giyotaku. The fish pressing and painting and printing has become extremely popular. The great thing about this is Wilson not only paints, he's an avid fisherman. So this is a marriage made in heaven. Oh, those are my passions and my passions run deep. So um, I chase them both. I'm a lucky man. I really am. I'm a lucky man.